So to get this started off, a little bit about your background. So you're a UC alum, but let's go a little bit like back from there. So you're originally from El Salvador. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that. So um, I was born in El Salvador and uh, had like a crazy story of how I actually got to the U.S. Uh, but you know, I came here at five as an immigrant. Uh, it's one of those that we crossed the border, <laughs> kind of like the movie. Uh, and we had a hard time when we first got here. Uh, I didn't speak English. Mm -hmm. I, I learned it, you know, pretty fast. Um, but from there, I, um, I had a lot of struggles because I just grew up with my dad and my dad's side of the family. So I missed out on, on my mom's side of the family and my sister. So it was a bit different for me growing up compared to, you know, friends and associates. Um, but from from the moment I left El Salvador till the moment I got here, um, I felt like that was one of the biggest impacts of my life mm -hmm. um, to the reason why where I am where I am today. Okay, so mm -hmm. like that that kind of whole journey of coming to America, following kind of like the American dream, you know, American dream, kind of following that. But how did that kind of lead you to come to UCR and study business and kind of what you're doing now? Well, when I came to LA, you come to LA where if you're, if you're in downtown LA, you're going to see a guy with a suit. Yeah. You know, a guy with a suit and the suitcase. And I always wanted to be that guy, okay. you know, with, dressed up nice, going to business. So I was always into business. Yeah. Um, I did it. I never even heard about Riverside. I'm originally from Palmdale. <laughs> and the only reason I applied to Riverside is because of a counselor okay. in high school. I wanted to go into business, but I was applying to my dream schools. And again, they were just dream schools because of the hype. Yeah, I didn't exactly. really know anything about it. So I wanted to apply to UCLA, you know, UCSB, UCSB, <laughs> et cetera. And uh, my counselor gave me a great point. She said, you know, like, what do you want to study? I said, eventually business. Originally I came in for accounting. I'm good at numbers. So that's what led me to business. Mm -hmm. uh, and she said like, there's no business school in these schools. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know that. So without talking to her, I would have probably made a wrong decision in my school because yep. I probably would have gone into econ, uh, you know, major instead of a business major. Yep. So she recommended UCR. At the moment, UCR wasn't, you know, it was up and coming. It still is up and coming, but they didn't have a solidified business school like they do now. Yep. Um, so she said, this is a good business school, uh, very diverse. You fit the background, uh, apply to that one. And so, you know, I did. Because uh, of her, I applied to this as well as other Cal States. Yeah. Uh, but it fit perfect. I think it was almost destined to come here because uh, the I, I remember the the letter of uh, statement to get in. It was to explain the background. Yeah. You know, so uh, my background is very unique. And again, like you said, I lived the American dream. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to live the American dream. So uh, I applied and I got in and I loved it because I met all types of, yeah. you know, uh, ethnicities, all type of races, all type of people. Um, Different backgrounds, everything. Correct, correct. So I loved it. I absolutely loved it because I was not exposed to it um, from where I came from. Um, plus, you know, it took me a while to get residency plus citizenship, yep. so I couldn't really travel mm -hmm. to other places and meet, you know, new cultures and meet new people. Yep. Uh, so this is a good, uh, you know, a good first step to doing that. 100%. And like during your time at UCR, so uh, what was your concentration in the school of business? Was it management or was it? it it's, I finished off with marketing. Okay. So like I said, I originally came in as an accounting. Took some accounting classes, took business 10. <laughs> and you're like, hell no. No, <laughs> it's not for me. Uh, I didn't like the whole 12 to 15 hour shifts and you know, cubicle. Uh, I can do the long shifts. I just cannot do it in a cubicle. Yep. Um, I realized I'm more of an outgoing, uh, talkative person. Mm -hmm. So somebody recommended marketing because you know you're going out and helping businesses and you know creating strategies uh, to make their sales and revenue go up. And I always like that. You know, I'm dealing with numbers still, mm -hmm. but more strategic. Uh, so that led me to marketing, but I also want to do mar uh, management. So I ca concentrated on marketing, but I also took management classes. Mm -hmm. So uh, marketing was definitely uh, the right choice. Okay. I would say. What was your uh, favorite class that you took at UCR? At UCR? At UCR. Okay. We'll go into your uh, study abroad in a second, but what was your favorite class at UCR? Um, depends because I've had really good teachers uh, that actually took their time and wanted to get to know me, but I took, actually I would say, uh, I think it's Business 112, Business 111, it's a service class. Oh, the, yeah, okay, marketing services. Yeah, marketing services. And uh, that was my favorite class because uh, that's the first time I 
got to even meet an entrepreneur, okay. uh, a successful entrepreneur. And the first thing he told us in class was, don't mind me yawning, don't mind me sleeping. I go every other week to Europe for my business. And I, I was, Europe is my dream place. So yeah. I, after class, I asked him how, how he did it. And uh, he took the time and, and, you know, spoke to me. But he was a very busy man. Mm -hmm. I had two minutes with him, so I would make the most out of those two minutes. But the reason why that was my favorite class is because uh, it helped me w with my business that I have now. It's yeah. a service class, so it didn't only teach you um, how to treat a customer or um, you know how to make a sale, but it also taught you what it is that a service you know provides. It's it's an experience. Mm -hmm. So that's where I got the whole idea of making a service an experience. Um, so I really liked that class because he taught us real life situations and he used his businesses as examples. Okay. So I really learned a lot from that class. It wasn't, it was one of the first classes that he said to not buy a book, you know? We're just gonna learn through PowerPoint, through talking and presentations and I absolutely love that. I think that's one of the most valuable things when it comes to college education is yeah. the practical value exactly. and like not doing from the textbook what is theoretical but actual from practice. So that's awesome that you got the experience to work with an entrepreneur.